GH Dope TV. Greetings, my name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger, and you're welcome to GH Dog TV, your number one dog TV show for all dog lovers. And kindly note that if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon to always be updated whenever we drop yet another amazing dog content. And today on our show, our show is taking a different twist altogether. Today we are not visiting a kennel, but today we happen to be at the Legon Botanic gardens that's the location for today and i know you are wondering what happens to be the purpose uh, of being at the legon botanical gardens we are here today for a wonderful event today happens to be a boa boa day today happens to be an event organized by the south african boa boa breeders society and also the boa boa breeders association of ghana and this is a two-day event it is really packed there's going to be a boa boa appraisal and on the next day is also a boa boa dog show so don't go anywhere stay tuned as we bring to you more updates on this lovely event and kindly know that this show is brought to you by gh dog blogger you can follow us on all of our social media handles on facebook at gh dog blogger and on instagram at gh dog blogger so don't go anywhere as we bring to you more details on this exclusive episode on gh dog tv Hi, my name is Dr. Annie Peterson, President of Kennel Union of Ghana. Keep watching GH Dog TV. Robert Lincoln and that's my dog Enzo. Okay that's Enzo so um, I know we are here for the Boa Bowl appraisal but then let me ask again why are you here today? Uh, I think this is my first time I'm, I'm here to contest uh, something uh, yeah. okay, okay so uh, if I'm getting it well you are here you brought Enzo here to be appraised okay 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 boss are you a dog breeder or you're just an owner of a dog your dog is very beautiful I'm, I'm loving your dog such beautiful features and all of that so are you a dog breeder or no actually i'm a dog trainer i do aggressive and obedient wow that's what you're into oh, okay nice 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 so why did you um get this boa boa why the boa boa actually it's not for me it's for my bros yeah that's why i'm here he asked me to come okay, so your bro happens to be the owner of this dog Okay, okay, boss. Yeah, but he's from South Africa. No, in Ghana here. The dog is from South Africa. So he bought this dog from South Africa. Yeah. Nice talking to you. Thank you very much. I have with me a wonderful gentleman here, and he's standing with this amazing, beautiful dog. Kindly check out the features. Such a beautiful dog. Just as I always do, I am always wishing of owning people's dogs. This dog is a very beautiful one, and I can only dream or wish of having him. So, boss, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. That's a beautiful dog. I don't know why every dog seems to be beautiful to me. I don't know if it's my eyes or this dog is very beautiful. Um, actually, people have been saying the same thing to me, but well, I've been with it for some time, so I don't really see any difference or anything beautiful about it but if you say so then that's it wow so uh, is a male or a female that's a male okay 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 excellent features so um introduce yourself to our lovely viewers your name okay my name is uh joseph napoleon bonaparte like wow do you relate to the legendary napoleon bonaparte from france i think i have to go ask when i get home <laughs> <laughs> sure sure but all of a sudden then um i own napoleon kennels 
GNH. Yeah. Where are you located? Uh, in Osu, near the castle. Okay, small adverts. Just say somebody wants to get interactive with you. Just a quick one. Um, just go to napoleons.com. Napoleonskennel.com. Yeah, you can find where you can find my location and everything. But if you want to come, just come to Osu. When you get to the last stop, just ask of the castle. And then the guy that keeps the dogs there, they'll just... Or Joyce Abebio. I'm located behind Joyce Abebio. At Osu, yeah. Okay, viewers, he just said it. So just in case you want to check him out and all of that, you get to him. But um, quick one, and then we move to another one. Why did you choose the Boa Bowl as a breed? Because there are different kinds of breeds. There are the toy dogs, the Great Danes, the Rottweilers. Why the Boa Bowl? Um, I like big dogs, actually. And okay. So, <coughs> so, so that, that's the reason why I chose the Boa Bowl, because they are big dogs. Okay, so are you into other breeds aside the yeah. Boa Bowl? Okay, can you mention a few? Uh, I have a Rottweiler. And I have a Mortis, yeah. And I have a Shepherd, but uh, I, I don't really, I'm not really into it, so I just give it out to somebody. Okay, so you're basically the big dog type. Nice having you on the show, Napoleon. I am Sylvester Enkri, Twin Pillar Kennel, Kumasi. Okay, 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 lovely, lovely, lovely. So I know today is a Boa Bowl appraisal, but I also love to ask you again why you are here today. Why have you come all the way from Kumasi to this event? Uh, I'm here to appraise my dog. I imported him from South Africa and he came at the age of six months and the appraisal wasn't done. So I thought it wise to uh, to have this as an opportunity to come and praise my dog. That's why I'm here. It's such a very beautiful dog. Is he um, male or female? A male. Wow, very, very, very solid. And quick one, why did you choose the Boa Boa? As, or are you in suggest Boa Boa or you have other breeds as well? I have other breeds. I breed a uh, Bull Mastiff, French Mastiff and Boa Boa. Wow, it seems you are into the big dog kind of thing. Why the big dogs? Uh, I just for the mastiffs, I just like dogs with fools, and the boa boas they are very aggressive and they are very good for security. That's why I'm also breeding the boa boa as part of my breed. So I breed bull mastiff, French mastiff, and boa boa. Yeah. Wow, lovely. So of the Bordeaux, that's the French Mastiff, the Bull Mastiff and the Boa Boa. If I am to ask you to arrange them in order of preference, how are you going to arrange it? Your personal preference? Uh, I, I love I love Bordeaux. French Mastiff, yeah. I love them very much. Yeah, that's it. I love them and okay. uh, then I'll choose Bull Mastiff. Then Boa Boa will be my third option. <laughs> so the Boa Boa happens to be the third one. Yeah. Nice having you on the show, Sylvester. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. John Duncan. Oh, okay, John Duncan. Yeah, I saw you over there with your dog. And um, what were you doing? Can you give us a brief uh, listen? I brought the dog for appraiser. That's for uh, Boa Boa Breeders Association of Ghana. They are made in appraiser. Yes. Um, so, are you just an owner of the dog, or you're a dog breeder? Um, at the moment, I'm an owner and a dog breeder. Okay, okay, okay. So, what breeds of dogs are you into? Is it just the Boa ball or uh, it's just the boa balls. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's talk about your dog. And um, what's the name of this dog? That's Big Cell Ruby. Big Cell Ruby. Ruby, yes. Oh. Had it from a uh, Big Cell Kennel. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So just in case somebody wants to get interactive with you, like call you for your dogs and all of that, how will the person locate you? Oh man, the can my kennel name is Brightest or Brightest Kennel. Um, my contacts. Zero two four four eight three seven five four two. 
Okay. Nice having you on the show, sir. So, thank you so much. I'm here with one of the organizers of this Owabola appraisal, so we are going to get up close with him. Boss, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like you to introduce yourself to our lovely viewers. Okay. I am Colby, Colby Aka. I am the owner of Bonzi Bobbles. Bonzi Bobbles. Okay. And what part did you play in organizing this event? Okay, I'm actually the vice chair of the Boabu Breeders Association Ghana. So it was it was a joint effort. Everybody played major parts in getting the SAFS appraiser here. So it was more of a joint effort. So how has the organization been so far? Has it been has there been any challenges or something of that sort? Uh, just slight hiccups with uh, power situations and a few other things but we managed to 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 surmount that challenge so it's now started and everything is going on smoothly oh, nice nice yeah i'm really enjoying myself here yes i'm enjoying the scene seeing such beautiful and wonderful dogs around and i'd like to ask you what's the objective of this event and uh, i can see that it's a two-day event we have the boa bowl appraisal and then we also have the dog show so what's the objective of these two Okay. Uh, the bull bull appraisal is actually to get, we realize most dogs in Ghana, do they might conform to the breed standards of the boar bull, they are not fully registered with the association in charge of the boar bull, which is the South African Boar Bull Breeder Society. So we, we it's, it's, uh, the acronym for it is SABS. So we, there's a process to get your dogs registered as purebred boar bulls. And one of the main steps is to get the dogs appraised and DNA profiled. The DNA profiling verifies the parentage of the dogs. So the appraisal is a major step in getting most dogs in the country recognized as boar bulls by the South African Boar Bull Breeders Society. So you should know that the boar bull is actually a recognized land race animal in South Africa. So they are protected just as humans in South Africa. So it's a very big deal. It's, it's a big deal. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting. Um, so quick one, say your final words to some people out there who they are into, um, say they are breeding boar bulls, but they've not yet joined your union or association. What message do you have for them? I'd like to encourage every single person to be part of this association. Also, even if you're not part of this association, I'd like to encourage every single person to, to get their dogs appraised. It is, it is really important after appraising your dogs, get them DNA profiled. It is also very important into getting your dogs recognized as purebred boar bulls. And then I'd like to encourage everyone to make it a point to be here tomorrow for the show, which is really going to be interesting. This year we've had one appraisal already. That one was done by the Boar Bull Alliance. So you're not seeing all the Boar Bulls in Ghana here, but tomorrow you are going to see every single Boar Bull that is, that is out there tomorrow. You are going to see every single one here today, tomorrow. So I'd like to encourage everyone to be here tomorrow for the show. Wow. So our lovely viewers, uh, you just heard from my boss here, Colby. He said if you've not uh, gotten your dog registered, you kindly do so. Thank you so much, boss. You're most welcome. Okay, I've just got myself a lovely friend here. His name is Wancho, 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 Wancho. And here is the owner standing right beside me. Boss, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Why are you here today? I know today it's um, a wonderful day for Boa Bulls. Wow, <laughs> so aggressive. I know today is a wonderful day for um, Boa Bull breeders and lovers. So why are you here today? Uh, I'm here because I want to appraise my Boa Bull. I see him to be a very lovely boy, a very strong boy. He has all the qualities, so I want to appraise him. Wow, that's lovely. So how has the, um, the environment been for you so far? So far, the environment is very good, clean. Everything is moving on very well as well, as you can see. Everyone is getting the dogs in shape. The dogs are in line. 
you can see all the dogs here are very very nice yeah. so it's going to be a very challenging day too sure, sure, yeah sure, sure. so is this your first time of getting your dog appraised yeah yeah this is my first time getting my dog appraised okay boss and are you a dog breeder or you're just a dog lover or a dog owner i'm a breeder i'm a breeder i'm a lover and i'm a dog owner i'm all of them wow nice having you on the show sir same here boss same here thank you very much for having me Hi, this is Ammonia, CEO of Ammonia Kennel and Ammonia Pet Shop. Keep watching GH Dog TV. So I'm here with the owner of Stego Beast. Yes, this beautiful boa boil over here. This dog actually won the award for the male champion. That's the grand male champion and also the junior male champion. So I'm here with the owner. Boss, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. How does it feel to be the winner of this competition? Oh, it feels great. It feels great. You know, I never expected it, but we thank God. I'm, I'm, I'm almost here right now of the show of the male grand champion and the male junior champion. It feels great. Okay, so um, I'd like you to introduce yourself to our lovely viewers. You mentioned your name. You say, if they say you're a breeder or whatever. Yeah, so introduce yourself to our lovely viewers. Okay, so my name is um, Koji Boateng. My maternal name is African Po. Okay, so you're a breeder and is it just boa bulls you're into or you have other breeds as well? Yeah, I'm into boa bulls only, but I've not yet attained the breeder level. Let's let's see. I'm 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 trying to move forward. So with time, I'll get there. Okay, okay, okay. So you would say you're a boa boa lover instead of a breeder. No, I love her, but I am lucky. Let's see, I'm a breeder, but I've not got into this a senior breeder level. But yeah, okay, okay, okay. I breed boa bulls. Okay. okay. So let's talk about your dog. So where did you get stego beast from? I imported him from Nigeria. From one breeder in Nigeria. So did you import him as a puppy or? Yeah, I imported him at nine months. Yeah, I imported beast at nine months. So how was it like seeing this big dog and importing him, staying with him? I'm sure some of our lovely viewers must be thinking, whoa, somebody who is not a dog lover or a dog breeder might be thinking like getting a dog for nine months because there are certain people who always make complaints that they do not like dogs that are a bit older and they are scared. So how was it like having this dog at nine months? Oh, the first time I saw him, I was like, whoa, this dog is really huge. You know, Everyone was impressed at the first sight. And then getting him, I think he was cool. Nine months, he was still a puppy, trying to be an adult. But he was very cool, cool in temperament, you know. And I, I was able to socialize him a little bit to, to be able to come out and take him a show. Because when he came, he was a little bit shy. But I was able to socialize him a bit. And he was cool. He's, he's, he's very cool. So were there other challenges after you got him? Mm, the only challenge I think that was major was socialization, but with time he was okay. Because he could, at first he could barely walk or run because he was shy. But now when I take him anywhere, he wants. He's gotten the confidence. Yeah, he's gotten a lot of confidence. Nice, nice, nice. Thanks for having you on the show, Archie. All right, thank you, sir. Thank and you. congratulations once again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay.